What's up, guys and gals? My name is Splattercat. We are here at the Nerd Castle with the next episode of Sticks, Master of Shadows, where we've got all the coins lined up. Like, I really, really, really want to grab the coins. I noticed in between episodes that there was a coin right there that we missed. You see it glowing right there? Way off down there. It's not going to glow. With the Just look right above my head, and you'll see it flickering right there. I don't know. YouTube nerfs the quality of any video you put up on it. Like, seriously, it does. The videos on my hard drive look way cleaner and way nicer, and when you put, up on when you put them up on YouTube, they just make them look like shit. And so, oh, unfortunately, I missed my opening right there, so I needed to kill that guard. It's okay, though. Just do this. There we go. And so we've got to distract them. And what we want to do is they're going to come investigate the sound from its origin. We want to sprint around real fast, and I think this is going to work. I hope it works, because if it doesn't, this is really going to hurt. Okay, and so now that that worked, we jump back down the hole. And we're good. Now, the unfortunate thing about all this is that I do need to go back down to the lower level, which is stocked with guards that are still on guard. And while that seems kind of rudimentary, like all guards would still be on guard, they're called guards. So that's what they do. But they're on guard. I mean, the system has swapped them over to, like, an active profile, where now they're just wandering around being a pain in the ass. Now, I think I can get at that coin by creating a distraction behind those barrels right there. I think. And so that's what my attempt is going to be. I'm going to try and get behind those bags. And once I'm behind them, I'm going to whistle. I'm going to spin around just as we did with the previous group. And I'm going to see if I can get around behind all these patrols. Then we'll double back. We'll go back around. We'll come back up and everything will be good. But for now... I think all of them should become keen. Like, they all communicate with each other. And so, in so doing... I should be able to sneak under like this. Oh my god. So like a hair's breadth right there. And I don't mean no rabbit. So there's 10 out of 10 coins. We've got that covered. I'm going to sneak back over this way. I'm going to see if I can find my way back up on. Actually, no. The best way to do this is for me to drop down. Let's drop down. There we go. Awesome. And so we drop back down. We'll use the stairs down here. And we should be totally and completely free to end the episode, which will be awesome. Not end the episode, end the level. I think that embassy door right there is the end. Are we wounded at all? I just want to make sure that I'm stocked up on anything that I might need before we go anywhere else. We need an extra dagger, but unfortunately the only one that I know of is stuck in that bale over there. So I'm just going to ignore it for now and it's just not worth the risk. The dagger is right there and the guard is facing the other way now. Nah, I'm not going to risk it for a throwing dagger. It's a useful item, but it ain't that useful. I mean, technically, it's sort of... I use my throwing knives like cleanup weapons after I've been seen because the combat in this game, your character is not capable of fighting at all. All you can do is parry. And so... I tend to try and keep myself out of combat as much as possible. Now, over here, we've got that guy warming his hands by the fire. I'm going to try and take him when he goes down the hall. I can't promise it'll work or that the guys in that room won't hear it, but it's my best attempt right now, so it's what I'm... I'm not sure what just happened right there. I think I detached from the wall on accident. I don't know. So what I prefer to do is you take him right here so that he's around the corner from that guy so you can't really be seen, but I also I think we're far enough from them where they won't hear the body go down. Yeah, there it is. There's climbing points in that room right there that I noticed in between episodes. So I think what I'll try and do is get around. It looks like you can loop around this guard right here when he goes around his patrol. And then you should be able to climb up the wall without getting caught. There's a lever over there that opens the door, but maybe we can climb up and over. Yeah, there's a... Is that a hole? I, yeah, that's a hole. There's a hole up there, so we can climb up and through if we're being especially careful. My foot has fallen asleep. My foot falling asleep is not conducive to my sneakery. All right, so we're going to follow this guy. Luckily, there's carpets like everywhere so that we can drop down around and do whatever we need to do. But what I want to do right here is actually... If I can get onto this ledge, I don't think they can see me. And so I just want to be quick about this. That jump right there is a little bit risky. Ooh. Okay, and so we made it. I was leaning in everything. I was leaning like it was my... Well, I don't even know what to say right now. I have nothing for leaning. I have no clever euphemisms for leaning so unfortunately you'll have to live without one this guy right here is asleep but I think he wakes up and walks around and the longer I wake the more likely it is that he's going to wake up right when I hit the floor yeah 
Yeah, so there it is. Oh, good. There is another throwing knife. We land on the carpet. We choke him out real fast. They shouldn't be able to see him through the door. They can hear the sound, but they shouldn't be able to hear. And so, can I throw him in here? No, that's not a hiding spot. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm going to need to hide anything anyway, so what I'll do... Let's drop him in the corner. That's fine. And then we'll take the throwing knife, and it's on to the embassy. Oh, I gotta pick the lock first. Of course the embassy's locked. Why would it ever be so simple? Why would it ever be so simple? The transport office shouldn't be far. If I can get away on an airship, I'm grabbing it. Feel free. You grab that airship, sir. You grab that airship. So, it looks like there's a strong room, an airship timetable of some sort, two guards, a looky-loo, well, a looky-loo and a guard. There's probably more in there. I can't imagine, yeah, there's another one. Oh, never mind, it's like a crank or something. There's no other guards in there, huh? Okay, well, let's have a look around. Get a hold of the airship timetable, all right, and you could plunder the strong room. I'm pretty happy that we got all the collectibles from the previous level. Like, that really is actually a good thing for us. I'm going to try and get them all right here, too. Let's go through here and see if there's an easy way into the strong room, although I bet it's just trying to taunt us into here. Yeah, it's blocked, so we're not going to be able to get through there. Watch out for the broom in the bucket. I'm going to put some sand on that right there. This guy, I bet I can kill him without that other guard waking up because he's in the shadows. I mean, it seems really, really unlikely, but this game's weird like that. Like, you could see somebody getting choked three feet from you. Yeah, somehow he didn't notice that. Alright, well, we'll bring this guy back over here. We'll be careful about the mop and the bucket because you can... You can bump into those and it will give away your position. And that totally sucks because I like my I like my positions to be discreet. That's just the kind of person that I am. When I whip out a position, I want it to be a surprise for everybody around. Is there... I want this guy right now. Yeah, there's a guard. I feel like something's going to happen. Let's let's go back over here and there is a guard walking around over there, but I don't know. I don't think he comes in here. I don't know. Let's have a look down this way and just see what's going on in this room. I'm so terrified in this game that every time I dedicate to a stealth kill, something's gonna pop out and just like ruin it. Just like, Arr! and then I'm gonna lose any stealth bonus that I would have had. I'll be all frustrated. I'll be all angry. All right, whatever. Let's just kill this guy. We've walked around for long enough. I don't think anybody's coming into the room. And if he does, I think we gave it the benefit of the doubt. Like, seriously, we sat around forever. Doesn't look like anybody's coming in, though, so... Let's go ahead. We'll dispose of the corpses over here. It looks like I can climb up this way. Oh, shit. Okay, so there's a bunch of guards up there, but they don't seem to see me when I'm up on that ledge. They also don't seem like they put. Oh, there's a guard over there. Okay. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and kill some of the lights. I'm willing to bet we probably have to flick both these switches in order to get into the strong room. I'll probably put sand on that one because I feel like it's a little bit risky to drop in over there. Their facing is okay, but it's not that good. Let's try this real fast. And so that lights it up right there and actually removes... Does it remove shadow? It kind of removes shadow a little bit. How long do we have? We actually don't have that long, so we've got to hustle if we want to make this work. So we'll have a little bit of that do 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 if we want to get it done. I'm going to drop back in over here, and they're going to start... Oh, shit, there's a guard. Okay. He's only on yellow alert, though. What's that guard over there going to do? Oh, you got the keys to the kingdom, huh? Okay. So that guard sets up all the way down there. I'm going to put that out because we can. And then I'll probably just hang out right here. And if he swoops around me, 
I'm not gonna corner kill him. Okay. So I don't have to corner kill him. I mean, technically I could right now. Maybe. Kind of. No, he's not flush. I think he has to be adjacent to the object that you're hiding behind. My guess is that that's how the logic of the system would work. If I time this right, I should be able to get both of them. But the timing... Oh, shit. Oh, he actually did not do what I expected him to do. Okay, so that almost went badly. He's staring at a picture of something. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. It's like some modern art or some shit. I'm gonna take this guy. He is taken. He turned around. I don't know if that eats up time from his patrol. I've got Q ready to go, though. Alright, we got him. Whew. That was very, very close. That made me pucker a little bit. Definitely got a little worried there for a second. Okay, so we've got two guards down. Let's put these bodies over here in the corner just in case other dude decides to come in here. He's doing that patrol in that room right there. I want to clear this entire area out before I try and do this switch puzzle because it is on a fairly tight timer, which means that any slight incursion could lead to me panicking and then dying. Anytime I'm doing anything that requires time sensitivity, there's always the possibility that I will panic and die. And so in order to keep myself from panicking and or dying, mostly just panicking and dying, but... There's a cleaning guy right there. Where'd that other guard go, though? Where the hell is he at? Let's backpedal this way. I think we'll get a better view from the other side. No! I hate how they shouldn't have made those climbable objects, those little sconces and things. I am constantly accidentally climbing those sconces and burning myself and losing health. And it's not even your own fault. Like, you're just jumping for something else and the game decides to latch to it sometimes. It's just like, why? No! Don't do that! No! Fire off limits. Fire bad. Fire make pain. Go ouch on goblin! Alright, let's go up these stairs. Oh, the guard is right there. Interestingly enough. Does he stay there? Let's have a look. Let's find out. Let's see if he stays here or if he decides to meander. I don't know if he shifts patrols like a permanent thing, so he shifts himself down to here as an activation once you go into that other area, or what happens, but... I think he's just hanging out. It's going to take him long enough to get upstairs anyways if we murder this other guy, to where I don't think anything horrible is going to happen. Let's go after this guy. We'll get him dealt with. Yeah, that other guy's not moving. He's still down there. I can see him on the corner of my screen right now. So we'll take this body. And now that he's repositioned himself to back over there, that means, realistically, we shouldn't have to worry about him coming back up in here and messing with our little torch or our little flip switch scheme, right? I don't know. We'll find out. Seems to be the moral of the story here for me with most of my gameplay and sticks. We'll find out. So I'll activate that. We'll jump on over to here, and we'll try and flip that one too. Do we make it in time? Oh, that's on a really, really tight timetable. How do we make that happen? To make that happen, that's going to have to be quick. Lickety split, actually. Okay, there's a decent jump. How is that? Oh, a clone. A clone. Okay. So we can do it with a clone. I forgot. I keep forgetting that I can even have clones. So let's go ahead. We'll leave a clone over here. He should be able to activate switches. I'm going to burn my foot on the brazier again because it's forcing me to climb up on it. And so we'll go like that. We'll control our clone. who will now go like that. And then in we go. I don't know how much noise this is going to make. There is the possibility that this may draw some kind of security response. If my valuables were being broken into off schedule, I would definitely have a security response. That's all that I'm saying right now. And so that leaves this room much better lit than it was previously. And also open to be looted. And so we got the secondary objective. That's going to give us 30 SP, which is no slouch. It's actually quite a bit. It also gives us a fallback area where we can grab some consumables if we need them. Let's have a look at this next room over here. I'm not... Well, I don't know. I'm not really interested in clearing out... Let's go one thing at a time, one thing at a time. We'll get this room, then we'll get the next one. It looks like there's a hole over here in the wall. And so we'll sneak through. Mm 
that guy right there is walking around. If you pay the price, some airship captains let you aboard into the hold so you can get the hell out of here. Shh. Never mention it to me again. Okay, so there's a couple different patrols over here. There's a guard. I think there's a third one over there. I think I saw him, but I'm not sure. I wouldn't claim it. He's going to turn into here. Which leads me to believe we might be able to take him from right there. I'll stuff him into that chest in just a second, and then we'll have a better look. Uh, who's around over here so there we go we'll stuff him into there he doesn't have to worry about finishing in the nick at all the clink Susie's house whatever you want to call it he ain't going there he's going straight to the morgue unexpected twists in the way that your day has played out get this old man over here that we're gonna be able to murder in just a second but Alright, and so with these two guards coming around this way, I'm going to try and make a distraction. It looks like one of them has gotten stuck. But this one... is absolutely primed to be killed. So I'm going to hide behind the door. He's going to check it. And then he's going to die. Down he goes. Now this is pretty close to that guy behind that pillar, so this might wake him up. Be hard to tell sometimes. Alright, he's good. And so if we're gonna take this, we're gonna have to take it fast. And down he goes, a knife to the gut. It looks like he's wearing plate mail, so I wouldn't imagine that a knife would be the best way to take somebody out. But maybe we're just got it's an especially sharp knife. Either way, having a wedge-shaped object slammed into you, even when you have chainmail on, is pretty painful. Just throwing that out there, because I do own chain mail. I think I got it at a costuming place way back in the day. I used to go to a lot of Ren Fairs and things, but I don't know. Stopped going. Stopped going. In my area, there was just like too many people looking for fights. And, like, that's how it is everywhere we go here. I don't know. You can't go any. We can't have any nice things where I live. It's just always trouble. Everywhere you go, and Ren Fairs are just trouble where people have knives, which just makes the situation worse. In fact, I think they've made it, for the majority of the ones that I've gone to in the last couple of years, they've made it mandatory that people piece tie their knives or whatever. Like, you got to tie them up so that you can't get them out of the holster or the sheath because there were just way too many people trying to murk each other. I hear somebody walking, and so I don't want to be here right now until I'm able to look around that corner. There's nobody on our right. The door counts as a cover object, so we've got a guy right there, and we've got a guy on the opposite side. Where's he going to go? Oh, you've actually got cleaning people. Okay. I'm going to hold up right here for a second. Oh, he's going to turn over to there. I don't know where the opening is right here. In fact, I don't think that there is one. There may not be an opening on this side. What the hell is that ringly dingly noise? I've heard it on the last two levels, but I don't know if it's indicating that there's treasure somewhere that can be got. No, no one's here. Don't worry about it. It's all fine. Don't you worry your sexy little bald heads about it. There's a guy right there. Is there anybody else in this room? There's a knife on the table, which leads me to believe we may be able to knife somebody. I need to stretch my legs, mate. There's no carpet in there, though, so I'm not going to be able to drop down in on this guy. I mean, I might be able to. I don't see anybody else in here, so I think I'm just going to swing wide on him. We'll take him out with a muffle kill because I'm not sure if there's anybody else around here that would heal a f or that would hear a full-on kill. We'll leave him where he's at for right now. One less guard to worry about. We'll throw that in the closet. Oh, there's a coin back here. Good. All right, so we found ourselves another coin. There's a fireplace right there, but there's no hole in the back of it. Put out all the torches just in case we need to use this area as a fallback area later on, but obviously the fireplace is going to be a problem in that regard and not really something that we can deal with. A couple of marble statues. Is anybody in here, though? 
Doesn't look like there's anybody haunting these corridors. Or even just walking around them. I mean, I don't even need it to be a ghost. Let's have a look through the keyhole. I see nothing, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to unlock the door, and then we'll swoop back behind that corner right there. If it gets a little bit too crazy. Let's open her on up. Which will lead us into a room which looks like a study, which comes with a keg. Hell yeah! I need a keg in my study. I was looking at pictures the other night on Twitter or somewhere of people's like man caves, like rich people's man caves. What is that? A keyhole with a button. Oh. What the hell? What's going on here? It's some kind of secret. I mean, I could just fumble with it randomly for right now. We can hope the winning result comes up. I bet there's a secret room in here somewhere. Wonder if there... There's gotta be like a book or something around here we can read that gives some clue as to the combination because it seems like... I don't know, I mean you could go by trial and error I guess. So that opened up on both sides. If you go left it closes that off and then opens up both of those. Then we went to the right as I recall. Which then led to that. Hey! Alright. Okay, so some extra bonus items. I mean, you'd think they would put a coin in there, since that's like their collectible gimmicky thing, but... No coin, I guess. So now I've got all kinds of supplies. If I get myself into trouble, I should be okay. I don't think there should be any real problem with me... Healing or anything like that. I think this one we already had cleared out so we'll go back into this room I am interested in getting this room cleared out but it's gonna be a little bit of a tricksy operation I was kind of hoping there'd be a knife in there too unfortunately there's no knife where's this guard at oh he's over there okay wait what oh let's get in over here I don't know if there's any spot where we can have an opportunity to take him. There may or may not be. That coin over there. I think it's probably. I bet you're probably not meant to clear this room. It's okay. I knew he was going to. He saw us last time we went through there, too. I'm not that worried about it. I can get up under the table. The problem being is that there's a lot of chairs. And so I've got to watch out for those while we sneak through here, otherwise we'll bump them off. And then they will definitely know that we are here. The other thing that I'm slightly concerned about is that guard right there. So that guard's facing the opposite direction. Wait, was there even a coin over here? I thought there was a coin over here. How come there's no coin over here? I swear there was a coin over here. Oh, I guess not. So I suppose I'll just extricate myself from the situation then. There's no reason to be over here if there's nothing for me to loot. Maybe I thought the knife was a coin. I don't know. A knife is definitely not a coin. You'd think I'd have like these rudimentary adventurer's objects locked in by now, but I guess not. I guess not. hit it up for a little run right here. A couple of guards not conversating, just standing in silence, staring into each other's eyes. I love you, Clayton. <laughs> that room definitely does not appear to have any weaknesses in its security infrastructure. If I walk through that door, I'm getting seen, because I'm not positive that there is any shadow right there that I can make use of. However, is this door... Okay, so this door can be opened. 
And it, by contrast, doesn't appear to have anybody guarding it. Let's go ahead and flip the door on open. We'll take it slow for a second, but this is probably going to let us get back up to the upper level. Nothing down there in the shadows. Let's consider for a moment putting out that torch. And now that that torch is down, we'll take a look through this hole right here. It is important to note that all of the guards... Okay, so that takes me... All of the guards do have keys to these doors, so they can pop on in on you at any moment if you're walking around. They'll just be like, BAM! and walk up behind you. They don't have to unlock it or anything. They just walk straight through them. The game just assumes that they have a key. Move that on over. And now it looks like we are somewhat stuck. Not super stuck, but I think I'm going to have a look around. I'm going to break the episode off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerdcast for the next episode of Sticks, Master of Shadows. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and I do.